You're just trying to list some card games, and that's it. It's simple. You fetch the title, the designer, the publisher, the amount of players, and some other information about the game, and yeah, everything works. And there's something to say about code that works. It's certainly better than code that doesn't. But there's a lot more to writing software than just making it work. It needs to work really well. Because you decide to pop into Telescope and look at the queries, and... There's a lot of queries, and then there's even more queries, and then there's even more queries. And you start to think, where did all of these queries come from? This is a classic n plus one problem. And if you're not familiar with it, it's relatively simple. Because inside of our code, it looks like that we are making, you know, a single query. We are fetching all of the games, and then we are passing that on to the view. And if we take a look at the view, we can see that we iterate over our games, which of course we have to do because we want to show the information. So we output the title, we get the designer information, the publisher information, and all of that related data. But this is where the problem lies. Behind the scenes, Eloquent is lazy loading this information, which means that as we iterate over our games, Eloquent is going and fetching all of the related data. That means for every game, it fetches the publisher information, the designer information, all of that related data. So what should be a relatively small amount of queries actually ends up being, well, you saw the list. We have 20 games here. We are loading at least four relationships. So we have at least 80 queries plus the one query that fetched all of the games, thus n plus one. And this is such a common problem that we actually have tools available to prevent our data from being lazily loaded. Inside of the app service provider, we can call model prevent lazy loading. And this will actually throw an error if Laravel detects that there are any lazy loading processes going on, which of course, inside of the index view it is. So here we can see that the problem is attempted to lazy load designer on the model of game. And this is a fantastic feature because this points out some very problematic things within our application, things that just might slip past us because it's easy to do. But then that means that we are forced to essentially eager load that information. And that's easy enough to do because once we fetch our games here, we can tell it to load our relationship data. So we have publisher, which also has a nested relationship of country. We have the designer information that we want to load, as well as its related data of awards. Then there might be some expansions that the games would have, and we would also want to load the ratings. In which case, now we are loading this relationship data up front and it does so in an efficient manner. We can see that we are no longer lazy loading that data. And if we take a look at Telescope, well, the amount of queries are definitely a lot less. Here we retrieve the games, but then we eager load all of the necessary relationship data. So what was at least 80 plus one queries is now one, two, three, four, five, six plus one queries. And that's fantastic. That greatly improves the performance of our application. But that can also be problematic because now whenever we need to load relationship data, we have to do that up front and we have to specify all of the relationships that we want to load. And if you're like me, you're gonna mistype it, you're gonna forget something and you're gonna run into an exception. But now we have a new method called with relationship auto loading. And that does all of the work for us. We don't have to specify the relationships that we want to load. It's just going to load them all so that our data is still eagerly loaded. As we can see from the list of queries that were made, it's the same exact queries that we had before. But of course, this is something that we would probably want to do all of the time. And while it's not a lot of work to call this with relationship auto loading method, we do have a better way. Back inside the app service provider, we can call the automatically eager loading relationships method. And this is going to automatically eagerly load all of the related data so that now inside of our games controller, we don't even have to call with relationship auto loading. It is automatically going to be done for us. 
And that's one less thing that I have to remember to do. This is a fantastic new feature in Laravel 12.8, and it's available right now. So update your projects so that you can use it today.